This morning we're we're filming a wonderful piece of Vanessa's absolutely wonderful uh, Wasskopf apple Austrian apple strudel, and it's made with Wasskopf apples, which are the best strudel apple, right, Vanessa? In the fall, yes, in the, in the fall. fall. Yeah, in the fall. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as I said before, in the spring, the best ones are transparent or clear yeah. apples. They're yeah. also called. Um, in the summer, um, always available are the Granny Smith, okay. which are yeah. also good. But in the fall, the Boskop yeah. are the best. And they're in an, an old apple. They come out of Holland yes. and um, were introduced in the 50s, I guess, to, to Europe from Holland, okay. the rest of Europe, and are now available only in farmers markets yeah. you, you never find them in the stores okay, and they're yeah. always organic biological they're not non-gmo of course okay, right? yeah yeah so tell me a little bit about the history of apple strudel or how you, you well, remember it yeah the, the apple strudel comes from the farms of course in austria and they always had a lot of sour apples and they used to make cider with it but other sour apples they used for baking Okay. And uh, they also had grapes usually, and they dried the grapes, you know, made their own raisins. And what was always around uh, was hazelnuts, hazelnut trees. They had a lot in Austria, and of course they had their own, their own butter from the milk from the cows, because um, dairy products are very mm -hmm. large in Austria, very big. And the other thing they had was old bread. Okay. So, uh, how the apple strudel was done was a very simple pulled dough, which only consists of flour, water, I think a little oil, and maybe an egg, and very, very simple to make. So, uh, and then they sprinkled some butter, some melted butter on top, and then they put some breadcrumbs from whatever they had left over, and some ground nuts, and some raisins and then they sliced their sour apples on top and some sugar of course right rolled it up with cinnamon and and they just used what they had right so i looked at that and i thought we have better things we don't have to use breadcrumbs we just use more nuts mm -hmm. and i used hazelnuts roasted hazelnuts and sometimes i use almonds you know whatever we have but mm -hmm. hazelnuts are the best and I blended them right away with the um, butter and the icing sugar. And I put a little bit of lemon juice on it, which they actually did too in Europe. They put lemon juice on it, even though I don't think they had it, you know, in those days. Lemons right. were not around. But I put a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of almond extract, just to give it a little kick. And then I spread it on puff pastry. And puff pastry is richer. And it also, you can buy it uh, in the store. There are mm -hmm. some companies who make fantastic puff pastry because it's quite involved if you make your own. Yeah. And um, it's better dough, it goes faster. And we need fast because we bake so many apple strudels here, like I wouldn't have time to pull the dough every morning, right? Yeah. So, and it's acceptable even in Austrian cookbooks from Austrian chefs. Uh, the puff pastry is acceptable for the apple strudel, so you can substitute it, right? Okay. So this is puff pastry with Bosco apples, and there's another possibility that some people do, and it's with phyllo pastry. And you use about five sheets of phyllo, brush mm -hmm. with uh, liquid butter in between, put the next sheet on, liquid butter, next sheet, next sheet, you know, and then do the same. And that gives you a fluffier pastry. Okay. So that is also acceptable. Okay. I like the puff pastry. Yeah, though. puff pastry yeah. holds up the best. Mm -hmm. Holds up the best, definitely. And the filo pastry, once you do the strudel, you have to brush it with butter. Mm -hmm. With warm butter before yeah. you put it in the oven. Otherwise, yeah. it totally cracks and the filo yeah. just flies all over the place because right. it has no, no butter in it. But when you do it with puff pastry, you have a lot of butter already in the pastry, so you don't have to brush it. Okay. okay. Yeah. So. That's the story. How, how, old, how, how old is the strudel dish? Or how long have the Austrians been making oh, apple strudel? I have no idea. You know, most pastries in Austria do not come really from Austria. Uh, when the <coughs> Turkish wars came, 
a lot of a Turkish influence mm -hmm. uh, was um, with many bakings, but also from Bohemia. The bakers, the famous bakers were in Bohemia, the north of Austria. Okay. Yeah, it mm -hmm. used to be the former Bohemia, now it's Slovak or Czech. Czech Republic, something like that. Yeah, right. Prague. So, yeah, that that's area. where it comes from, where the good yeah. pastries come from, and mm -hmm. Hungary, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So it all dates back probably to the old Austrian, you know, empire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know it's a fantastic dish yeah. served by every uh, elegant coffee house and hotel. Yeah. As their specialty, you know, yeah. Vienna and Salzburg. Of course, and yeah. Everybody has a small town food. demo. Yeah. yeah. Who are some of the famous coffee shops? Uh, Sacher, Demmel, mm -hmm. um, in, in, in um, Salzburg, the Café Fürst, yeah. which actually is the only one who also makes the original salt, uh, Mozart Kugeln, the yeah. Mozart uh, confection, mm -hmm. and the Café Bazaar, and the Café um, um, Tomaselli is another one. They all mm -hmm. serve apple strudel. I just want to say on, on you know, because we are talking about strudel here. What you buy in the stores here, and it is named strudel, is actually an insult because it's not a strudel. It's, it's, um, it's canned apples from China, okay? And, and they're started. big <laughs> fat pieces of apple, and then they put a lot of sugar on them, and there are no, no nuts in there at all, and then they kind of go it together and put a, a big icing on it. Yeah. It, it's not a strudel, it's something else. Actually, they should be, you know, not allowed to, to say it's a strudel it because it's no. not. You know, it's absolutely not. Yeah, right? I've, I've had a few of those. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're canned so, apple ones. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, don't get me started on that. <coughs> yeah, we don't apples. want to go any further. <laughs> 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 yeah, you have to use fresh apples, peel okay. them, yeah. you know, go do the work. and Not only that, but good. the best apples. Yeah, the best apples. For the, for the yeah. dish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I Thank can't you. wait to dig in. I know these <laughs> apples are very crisp in the strudel. Amazing. Even yeah. after it's been, uh, yeah. you know, baked yeah. and... And yeah, but sitting for a few days, flavor. even they still stay crisp. Yeah, yeah. Um, three, four, five days for yeah. a strudel in yeah. a cool place, not in a yeah. fridge, but yeah. in a cool place, you know, is fine yeah. and, and will even um, get the flavor out a little more. Yeah. Right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.